Well, we've all uh, come together today to uh, test out our, our UAS capabilities, skills, work together, uh, share some best practices, and you know, hopefully come out on the other side with uh, you know some, some lessons learned and uh, some takeaways that uh, help us all build our programs out. Well, the common goal here is just training together, you know, kind of learning the limitations of this technology, kind of getting uh, dialed in on some of the more like intricate settings of it, and then how to operate the best practices as far as like how to set up search grids, how to do some of that autonomously, how we can operate together, communication, agencies from the Bay Area out here today training. Uh, we have Santa Clara, San Jose, Fremont, Alameda County, Menlo Park, Redwood City, San Mateo. Well, the goal was to get a whole bunch of guys from different departments and UAV programs. We did a wide area search for a, a lost hiker, which was our, our, our setup. Uh, everybody worked with three drones up in the air, uh, all different levels, working safely, got an IC, coordinating everything. Uh, found the victim in about an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes. Worked great. It was, uh, it was really interesting to see uh, how guys figured out, how teams figured out organically, how we were going to organize ourselves and um, how, uh, how to perform these searches a, a, a number of different ways and what the best ways to do those things were. So. Um, yeah, Jeff Clavin, the battalion chief, uh, he brought the program uh, to us um, and we've uh, got our BCs on board. Um, in the back of Battalion 6 we have a camera all set up and we have uh, uh, Apple TV with it so we can uh, sync right onto the screen. And uh, lucky for us we've had a lot of deployments, um, we've had very good success um, and we've partnered with a Fremont PD and Fremont PD was going to fly but um, they found out in the PD world it's a lot tougher for them because people think they're looking in their backyards but when the fire department's flying we're everybody's friends. So the Jenkins drowning. We've had a couple shootings with a, a PD where we've gone in where a guy actually uh, you know committed suicide. Um, we were able to get in real close um, with the CHP helicopter. They were on top with their flare camera, but it was a little more blurry. And we were able to get right in there with our infrared. We were able to show uh, the body, but more importantly the gun. And that's, that was very helpful for PD. So our partnership with them is amazing. Hey, today went really well. You know, the goal was to get a whole bunch of guys from different departments and UAV programs, combine a different technology between DGI, uh, FLIR, uh, drone deploy, and overlapping all that technology all combined, and we found, we found our victim. It's been great. I think that's one of the big takeaways, right? It's networking, and it's kind of figuring out how this whole thing can mesh and how, you know, we figure out safety, you know, deconflicting airspace, some of the, the more um, subtle issues that um, we weren't uh, weren't apparent when we started doing this. Overwatch, right? Firefighter safety. If we're talking about going out uh, across that commercial roof, and we have you know a thermal camera flying over top of guys and. Uh, just looking out for them, changing conditions for that truck company that's going out to do vent. Um, we have our people operating them so we know what those safety concerns are that we need to re relay in real time. We're on comms with them, they're people we're training with. You know, at Menlo, we're constantly putting up drones over top of new people, you know, conditioning them to not be worried about what that sound is. They know that when they hear that buzzing sound, that swarm of bees, that that's our guys looking out for them. And they don't need to be worried about that. We just, it's, it's overwatch. Uh, it's close air support is kind of um, how I term it. And, uh, you know, it's tactical decision making in real time, you know, relaying that information to an IC. Uh, those are all things that, um, that we're... Concerns, obviously, with drone flying, um, worrying about that you know their privacy is going to be invaded. Um, it was about an hour and a half uh, a presentation. We showed all of the uh, missions that we've flown, and there was a couple good, valid questions from the community. Uh, but more importantly, uh, they all bought in. So we have some great policies and uh, procedures that we use. Uh, we carry the drones on Battalion Six. Uh, we're 24/7. We have uh, one uh, operator on duty, and then we have a co-pilot. So we fly uh, uh, together. I just set up our area of interest. Uh, we set the altitude to be 247 because that's the minimum altitude field scanner needs right now. Uh, in the future, hopefully, we can get that altitude closer so we can get a little bit high, higher definition result. Set the flight direction to be in the, the longer direction. Uh, the field scanner just tends to work better that way um, as opposed to doing something like this um, where you'll get many different strips. It tends to be uh, west of 
It'll be adjacent to a linear building and west of that one staircase that comes out. It's about maybe another couple hundred yards down west. Yeah, he's pointing right in that general direction. I copy, so from west of that staircase. There's another one that's farther down from the visual you're looking at right now.